back to my channel. Um, I haven't been on in like a month. I haven't really felt like recording anything. Um, I did record a few things here and there, which I'll probably show. But right now I'm making lunch. Right now it's leftover mashed potatoes and corn. And then this is going to look gross, but it is beef marinated in homemade yakisoba sauce, which I really love. I'm, I love that I learned how to make it instead of buying overly processed version of it. Don't mind my dishes. So I'm gonna cook this up and then talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna do a real quick grocery haul. These are our super basic groceries that we get pretty much every other week. So we have sweet Italian sausage, two hamburgers, two turkey kielbasas. Uh, my boyfriend Sean really likes these, so we get some of these every once in a while. They're only a dollar and he likes them. Pound of ground turkey, um, tomato, green bell pepper, onion, a thing of cheese, Sean's lunch chips. This is one of his favorite combos. Lettuce garlic i love this miss garlic i hate chopping up garlic by my like on my own because it's so sticky sour cream is a staple in our house usually i get the big one this time i got the small one because we have part of another one already um dill relish we're going to have tacos so i got these soft tortilla bowls um these are for sean's lunch he has a hard time with bread, so these make, instead of two pieces of bread per sandwich, she just has one of these with stuff in it rolled up, and it's a lot less flour-based bread, I guess. And then eggs, basic groceries. So this is my first uh, voiceover. I am doing this because my clips don't have any audio in this part. It is my HelloFresh meal. It is the sesame beef tacos, which we get every time that it comes up as a choice. We get HelloFresh probably about once a month, and I just thought I'd share it because it is our favorite. I love the card, the recipe cards that have clear printed steps. What's for breakfast today? It's called eggs and crackers. Probably has some other names somewhere else. My German grandmother used to make this for me when I was a kid. Um, so basically you just poach eggs and put a little butter in the bowl, put the poached eggs in, mix it up, crush some crackers in it, and we got this goopy mess called eggs and crackers. I've been eating it since I was little, so it's delicious to me. I don't know if it's actually German, but that's who made it for me, is my German grandma, so so it is November 4th, everybody's stressing over the election, I'm stressing, I even woke up in the middle of the night and checked numbers, and of course they had stopped counting by that time in the middle of the night. Um, some of the states aren't even counting today, they're not going to release results until tomorrow the 5th, but I've turned off the news and turned on Christmas movies, which I think everybody should do, especially since most of the places aren't gonna have results in, for days and full results won't be in for a long time. And so I'm gonna try not to stress over it, try not to look at it too much. Um, maybe just watch Christmas movies and eat my weird German grandmother's breakfast. So here's my lunch. Um, this is some of the sesame beef taco meat that from HelloFresh that I showed already and so I just made three little tacos. I didn't have any of the um, like a quick pickle radish or cucumber left so all this sour cream cheese ketchup just super basic but this is my lunch. 
So I wanted to show this before I erase it. This is my Halloween chalkboard art. <laughs> I'm going to be erasing it to do a more Thanksgiving themed one today or tomorrow. But so I'm gonna make the yakisoba sauce that I use. Um, it's what was in the bag with the beef earlier this week that I showed you. So I figured I'd just go ahead and make it. So these are all the ingredients for the yakisoba sauce. Sesame oil, rice vinegar, oyster sauce, hoisin sauce, ketchup, soy sauce, and instead of sugar, I use honey. So this is roughly two servings of broccoli. Add the oven preheating to 400. Um, I'm going to roast this for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to do salmon filet and I'm going to basically glaze it with the yakisoba. It'll cook for about 20 minutes in the 400 degree oven and I'll show you when it's done. All right, so here's the finished product. So after the broccoli was in the oven for 10 minutes, and then put the salmon on the pan. I put a little more sauce on it and some sauce on there. Baked it for 10 minutes, glazed this again with the sauce, baked it for another 10 minutes, and this is the finished product. I have more broccoli than I do salmon, but I love broccoli, so. I'm sitting in my bedroom editing this video. It will be up uh, tomorrow, which is Friday. Um, I just wanted to like actually end it instead of just showing some stuff and then cutting it off, do a blank screen. Um, and actually, it looks pretty bright outside now, but I recorded just a couple minutes ago of it raining and it was a lot. We live in the valley, um, and right now our backyard is almost swimming pool status. So, but I'll put that clip in here, and that's it for this week. Bye.